Okay guys, it's me Imad. So today in this video tutorial, we will learn about how to use a transistor or a BJT as a switch within the SimulID simulator. So how we can do that? First of all, we can see the search components box on the left upper corner. So here we will write transistor or BJT. Okay, or we can just write BJT and here we got our BJT symbol. So drag it out here like this and we can click on the zoom to fit button so that we can see it a little bit magnified. So this is our BJT or transistor and how we can use it as a switch. This uh, component or this device has three terminals. The base transistor, the base collector, and the emitter. Whenever we will apply a digital signal or logic one on the base, the other two terminals, that is the collector and emitter, will become short or they will be considered as connected with each other. In this way, our transistor can act as a switch. Now we will go and uh, we will take our fixed voltage power supply so this is our fixed voltage power supply you can see again click on zoom to fit every time so that you can see it properly now this is our fixed voltage power supply in order to send signal to the base of the transistor again we will go and we will take one switch so this is our switch, simple switch. Okay, and this. Again, zoom to fit. And now we can see that the switch, physical switch is in between the fixed voltage power supply and the base of the transistor. So now we will connect one end of the base of the transistor to the switch and the other end of the switch with that of fixed voltage power supply. And with the help of this switch, we will convey or send our digital logic 1 to that of base of the transistor. Now this has been done. Again zoom to fit. Now we will go and we will take our battery. Drag it out like this. And ground. Now connect the ground with that of emitter. Okay, so whenever the signal used to be on the base of the transistor, the collector terminal will be considered connected with that of emitter. Okay. And we also need to connect the negative side of the battery with that of ground of the transistor or emitter. Okay, now in order to observe the observe the signal on the collector, okay, or the state of the collector, we need an LED. So take it out. Okay, like this. Or we can click on zoom to fit. We can drag our battery like this and also drag our LED like this. And one more thing that we have to place one current limiting resistor in between the LED and the collector of the transistor. Why it is so? Because whenever the collector and emitter of the transistor will become short. Okay, there is a huge current flowing from the LED and transistor, so it is not good. We have to we have to place a resistor in between the LED and the collector terminal. So this is our 100 ohm resistor. We can move over transistor like this and this. Okay, so connect it like this. And like this. Okay, now we will observe. We 
we will run it out our power supply that is the fixed voltage power supply is on and now we will press our switch and now you can see that whenever we got a signal on the base of the transistor then the LED is on okay and showing that uh, we have a successful uh, attempt okay we have used transistor as a switch in this way so hopefully you got the concept that how you can use the transistor or, or a BJT as a switch within the SimulID simulator. So thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe.